Hi, I'm Martin and in this video I'd like to show you a brief introduction in how to create patterns or materials with patterns in OmniTiles. So um, basically I opened a very simple scene um, which is this scene from Interior Plans. Uh, simple plane for the ground and um, it's currently just uh, gray material, a gray veering material. So what I'll add, I'll add um, an OmniTiles map for the diffuse channel and I'll quickly show you how you can load patterns. There are two different ways um, to load patterns. The one, the first one is this button which opens up um, a standard file dialog and if you navigate to the pattern presets folder which is provided with the installation you can choose from the pattern description files. Um, any one of these you can load. I'll just load one quickly. And you'll see that um, the pattern has colors and these colors are the different colors for the shapes that have been used in the pattern. You can uh, change this one easily, just load a different one and so on and so on. So on. This is one way of loading patterns while keeping the maps inside. Another way would be to load presets with the Material Manager. So uh, we also provide map presets with the Material Manager and using this load button, this load preset button, will open up Material Manager in OmniTiles map mode. So that means that um, this whole thing will load an entire map into, um, into OmniTiles, replacing all connected files, which is the pattern file, the settings, and um, the maps that have been used within OmniTiles itself. So the difference is using this button will replace everything, all parameters, and this button will only replace the pattern description while keeping all other maps and uh, parameters. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, go through the pattern editor, which is the first thing that I would like to show you. What you see here um, is the main edit area and uh, this is the color of a selection, so you can select a pattern this way. But I'll start from scratch. Alright, so this is the, the area, no shapes, and if I would save this pattern um, it would not have any shapes and any pattern within it. Um, I'll just adjust the grid, which is used to um, snap dots and positions. I'll show you in a minute. Um, and now you can start to create your own patterns. Um, you can create simple rectangles. Um, you can duplicate them. You can rotate. Uh, you can scale. Uh, again, clone, and so on and so on. You can switch off the um, the snap to grid, where, which allows you to freely move these shapes within the pattern. And uh, I'll just keep it as it is. You can delete those again. And you see here a list of patterns, um, shapes that are created. And these will um, later on show you which pattern is above which other, which means if you create um, one you can overlap those, but the question is which one will be rendered, this one or this one. So always the highest one in this list will be rendered. Alright, so um, let's start with a real pattern now. I'll um, start with a shape that I can create freely. I'm not going to use this one, but I'm, I'm going to create a wood parquet pattern which is used for this floor in the scene. And uh, I'll just start with this. And now <coughs> I'm selecting the one, I'm cloning it. And I'll just go ahead like this. And now I'm taking another one, clone, and I'm rotating this by 90 degree. I'll move it to this place and then I'm cloning it again. This works pretty easily because it, it snaps directly to the pattern grid. So um, I'll save this preset. And save and close. 
and right now I'll take this away so we see what happens. Um, so here you see see the pattern and right now it's too big. You know when I see when I look at the map itself you see this but um, for the whole area this is too too large obviously each panel is too large so I'll increase the number of rows let's say five and five which repeats the whole pattern that is in here this whole thing five times vertically and horizontally. That's still not enough, so I'll take eight and eight. That's auto saving, eight and eight. And now we have a pattern that could quite well fit into uh, into this room. All right. Um, the next thing uh, I'll I'll show you quickly is using a gradient ramp map, which is something. Um, that is specifically connected to Omnitiles through a specific map channel, which is map channel 95. So map channel 95 will use this gradient map in a specific way, which is as gradient from the edges to the center of each shape. And this can be used for any uh, different type, for example, um, as a bump map uh, to create some borders as a mortar edge map um, and for many other things. So this is important to know. Uh, map channel 95 is the one that you want to use if you're using the gradient ramp as um, border map, for example. Okay, but I'll use something else. I'll use um, cross map in this case because I would like to randomize bitmaps within this pattern. I don't want to have the same bitmap for each panel because that of course looks uh, unrealistic. So I want to use cross map. I want to use and load bitmaps, which I've prepared and which are coming with Omnitiles. Omnitiles textures, and I think this is the one that I want. Let me see. No, that's not the one. This one is the one that I want. So um, I use this path. I'll filter out the ones that I just want to load into cross map, include diffuse maps. Every map that has diffuse in its name will be loaded then. <coughs> and I'll take out this one because it's looking quite specific. So now we still see that um, all of the bitmaps are the same. And this is because I did not connect cross map to Omnitiles, which I can do by using this mode image distribution omnitiles, use omnitiles. If I do that, you see that the bitmaps are randomized within this pattern. So that's the basic thing that you need to know. Um, let's do a quick render and see how it looks like. Uh, while this is just the layer for the diffuse, uh, you can of course use omnitiles for um, for any other layer as well. You can use it for uh, for uh, bump mapping, for uh, reflection, for displacement, etc. And uh, you can build your own materials quite, quite flexibly while um, using Omnitiles. Uh, I'll, I'll give you more tutorials on this later. I just wanted to go you the basic, uh, show you the basic principle of how you can create patterns and use them within, Omni, uh, within Omnitiles and uh, uh, 3ds Max. All right, so that's that's it. I hope uh, you like it. Try out the demo if you haven't seen it or tried it yet. Um, it comes with a lot of presets, and um, of course you can modify those. You can create your own. Um, hopefully you'll make good use of it. All right, that's it. Talk soon. Bye.